Good morning, everyone. I'm Rod with Johnson RV in Sandy, Oregon, just outside of Portland. And we're going to take a few minutes to do a brief overview of this new arrival. This is a 2004 Winnebago Sightseer, and it's based on the Ford chassis. It has the Triton V10 engine in it. It has about 24,000 miles and uh, a great, a great size coach. This is about, it's a 30 model, so it probably measures 31 feet. Nice, easy size to get in and out of places, the smaller parks. Very practical and well-built motorhome. Uh, it has one slide, but the slide is a large slide, and you'll see that when we get inside in particular. It really puts the, the space where you need it up front in the living area. Um, this one comes equipped with jacks, automatic jacks, leveling jacks, full length awning along the side. I like that. You've got some outside entertainment here, a little radio, stereo. Good size storage compartments all the way around this side. And uh, they're felt lined, so they're quiet. Not a lot of rattles and that sort of thing. You have a nice, it's a six gallon, of course, six gallon hot water heater. As we make our way around the coach, you'll notice that it is hitched and ready to go. So this is rated at 5,000 pounds. So that small car, small boat, maybe a trailer with quads, easy to hook up and hardly feel they're back there. Uh, we've got a ladder to the rooftop. Come on around. These are your access points. Here's your generator compartment. You've got an Onan 4,000 watt generator, which is adequate for this coach and then your your hookup center here easy to get to this is that full length slide that we talked about and i think a nice little benefit to this particular setup is that you have the uh, the storage compartments come out with the slide i like that i'm a tall man i don't like having to bend over to get underneath the slide when i want to get to my stuff so that's a cool thing you've got a slide topper on this and uh, one thing i always look at i look at the condition of the slide topper this one has been, it's either brand new, I'm not sure, but it looks like new vinyl to me. Uh, that's nice, just something you don't have to worry about later on. Now a slide topper, what that is, is a little awning for a slide. And so when you pull this slide in, if you've been parked under trees, where you've got leaves and pine needles, those things all come off. That, that protects the top of the slide and protects the rubber around the slide when it goes into the coach. So just a, a brief look at this Winnebago. Excellent condition, I like it, it's nice shape. Decals look good on it, and uh, so, Something nice for going down the road. Let's go inside now and take a look at that floor plan. We're just taking a brief look at the dash area of this 2004 Sightseer Winnebago. And uh, has your nice, it has your smart wheel. You've got your cruise control, so it's easy cruising down the road, of course. And you've got remote controlled mirrors. You have automatic leveling jacks. Looks like the previous owner put a, a CB radio in this too as well. So that's kind of nice if you like that. Something kind of fun. and. Uh, has the good quality oak cabinetry. And one of the things about Winnebago, you know, they keep parts and things like that available for years and years and years. So if something you needed something for this coach, it'd be very easy to get it. I think most everything is, is numbered. Every part in this coach is numbered. But this is that large slide I was talking about. And it really makes a difference in this front room. I'm six and a half foot tall. So the first thing I notice is the height of the ceiling and then the space that this large slide provides. And in that slide, you have a dinette, which makes into a bed. You have a sofa with seat belts so this is a nice situation you bring people with you for the weekend you've got a nice secure place for them to sit across from the dinette is your galley area you have a nice sink cover here and it's not a lot of counter space but they've added a nice piece here to help extend that when you need it and it is right across from the dinette so that's if you're preparing food and sort of thing make use of that dinette uh, table you have a microwave and a gas oven along with your three burner gas stove top this is a nice area here that can be used. I like putting the little butcher block uh, tops on that, so it makes it a little bit nicer to work off of that. But anyways, we work our way back. Uh, you've got your two-door refrigerator up and down, nice storage drawers down below, and you've got a little pantry area here, very deep, good storage, and it can be converted into a closet too. I noticed it has a hanging bar above there, so this is something that, uh, depending on your needs, you can get into these drawers and, and have good kitchen storage in this coach. Across from that is the control center, and I, I like this. You've got your tank levels are all right handy here, your thermostat. Above that is your slide control. So when you're ready to head out and you're bringing your slide in, just before you head out, you can kind of check your tank levels and see if you need to make a stop and dump the gray and black water. And uh, so I just, it's just to me that makes sense. Now when you come on back to the bedroom, you've got a full walk around queen size bed. You have a nice wardrobe over here, nice size wardrobe, and a shirt closet over there. We call them a shirt closet when they're a little shorter and smaller like that. And then look at this good storage up above. I think uh, maybe a little metal shelf in here would be nice, give you double the storage in that, but that's a lot of space to work with. You've got under the bed storage, drawers, 
Uh, you have an end table, one, one end table on this bed. So just one over there, but if you need it for a little machine or something like that or clock, you've got power there as well. Nice little practical coach. This is a 30B model, a Winnebago Sightseer. About 24,000 miles on it. Great opportunity for you. If you're looking for something like this, come and see us. Johnson RV in Sandy, Oregon. And you can call us at 503-668-5400. You can ask for me. I'm Rod or any one of our sales professionals would love to, to give you a good close look at this nice coach.